New reaction from some of the small business owners targeted by an IRS law that is designed to catch criminals. The IRS permitted to seize bank accounts without a warrant and without even filing any criminal charges. But now some of these innocent Americans affected say that it has taken a big toll on their lives. And how could it not? I had to scramble. I had to borrow. I had to beg. I had to put money on my credit cards. Things I've never done before. I, it's been a year from hell. No doubt. That is one of the clients that is represented by Larry Salzman in this case. He is with the Institute for Justice. Larry, welcome. Uh, good to have you Thank here. You. So, so this law, just to catch everybody up at home, if you make deposits smaller than $10,000, which many small businesses do across the country because they want to get that cash out of their, you know, the business and put it into the bank so it's in a safe place. But that can trigger an IRS investigation and then they can take the money out of your account on suspicion that maybe you're a drug dealer or maybe you're up to something no good because you're trying to keep it under that 10,000 threshold, correct? That's right. The problem here are civil forfeiture laws. Civil forfeiture laws allow the government to take your property without charging you, let alone convicting you of any crime based upon a mere suspicion that your property is involved in crime. So they could take tens of thousands of dollars based on these small deposits and just say, sorry, you put up the red flag, you should have put in $12,000 and filled out the government form. I, I mean, it, I, I think this is absolutely unbelievable to people who hear this story. Why don't they need a warrant? Why don't they need to say to you, what are you up to? Well, they do get a warrant, but it's what's called an ex parte warrant. So it's only the government side that tells their story to the government and then they seize the money. The problem is they're not doing any serious investigation in these cases before they're grabbing the funds. And with the civil forfeiture laws, what that means is that you might wait up to a year or more, in the case of uh, one of our clients, it's two and a half years, before you can see a judge to challenge that seizure. It's just outrageous, and that's why civil forfeiture needs to end. It is outrageous. Do, we, do any of these people get their money back? Well, a lot of people simply can't afford to fight because the way these laws work is they seize the money and then you have to go up against the government, the full might of the Department of Justice in federal court to prove your own innocence, to get your money back. For most people, that's just not possible. They can't hire a lawyer and pay them for the amount of money that's being seized. So they walk away from their property or they're coerced into a settlement. So now they're saying that, you know, they're going to curtail, they've announced that they will curtail the practice. This is after the front page New York Times story. Suddenly the IRS says, we're, we're going to curtail this practice and we're going to focus on cases where we think there might be some criminal wrongdoing. Gee, that's a good idea. Why didn't they think of that before? Right. That would help. But inexplicably, they've said it's not going to apply to cases that are currently going on, such as yeah, the they already have their money. They don't need to do that, right? That's right. And so really it's an acknowledgement that for years they've been using civil forfeiture laws to take money from people that have done nothing wrong, which is what happened to Carol that you just saw there and uh, the Institute for Justice's other clients, the Hirsch family on Long Island. Well, it's pretty extraordinary. We need to look at the debt in this country uh, that, you know, we're, we're taking money from people who are just trying to run their own business and aren't doing anything wrong. Uh, and we still find ourselves enormously in debt, despite the fact that we're actually taking money from individuals in this country. It's really a, a, an unbelievable story. Larry, thank you very much. Keep us posted on this one, will you? Thank you. Wow, head scratcher.